let's paint you. Okay, so what I've got here is a mixture of uh, ultramarine and phthalo blue. And I'm just going to add that up here. Wow, that is pretty strong. Really, pretty strong stuff. Okay, let's work that down. Now, what we've got going on here is a speed painting. And we're going to paint a little bit of a seascape. Uh, Paul Ranson, the legendary Paul Ranson, one of the greatest Bob Ross instructors on the YouTube. Uh, he... Uh, he he dared me, he said, can I paint one in half an hour? So here we go, Paul, let's, let's see if we can get it going. So this canvas has been coated in a little bit of linseed oil and uh, and titanium white up at the top down here. It's just black acrylic primer, but we'll get onto that as we go along. Okay, just uh, don't peel the tape off yet, man. Okay, just a little bit of linseed oil. Right, to that, I'm gonna add some white. I'm gonna take some white just there. And then I'm just going to blend this out. Maybe get a dry brush. Come on. Get a bit of white. Maybe a bit of this thinner white as well. And just, just plow that down there. And merge all these colours together. I'm against the clock, you see. So if you haven't checked out Paul's channel, go check him out. Because it's absolutely amazing. You will learn a lot of things from, from Paul. Okay, so this is a pretty dark sky. I'm just going to blend all this together. Just, it's a it's a really warm day, you see. You see, let's grab a little bit more linseed oil and white. I'll peel off some of this, this sky. Just up there. Need it nice and dark so some of the clouds will show. Get right to the air guys in line with this masking tape as well. And don't forget this end as well. <laughs> really get it in. It's a really warm day today, so... so so the oil's on the canvas. And there, like that. See if we can do this in half an hour. All being well. Right, I'm gonna take a bit more of that white, just pale off some of this, just there, like that. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, set the brush down, let's grab another brush. We'll use this fan brush and we'll try and just smush in some clouds just up there like that. I don't want many, 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 many clouds. Just just one or two indications of some clouds that live up there like that. There and maybe something coming down there. Just be free and easy with it. Or down there like that. Mm. Good stuff, that looks a bit flat, that cloud. <laughs> if you want a flat cloud, that's fine. There, like there. Scrub some stuff in. Like that, and then back to the brush. Give it a bit of a beat. And let's turn the base. Again, it's probably the hardest thing was plowing the, the base coat on. <laughs> Fluff up, fluff up, fluff up. There, like that. And same on this one. Not looking for anything refined as such. Just a nice little seascape. There. I think we've got a sky done. Okay, let's whip off this masking tape. Okay, so you can see the black acrylic primer that's just down there. I'm just going to grab some linseed oil and some of the blue mix. Just fill this in again. There's a tiny dry spot just there. That's where the eye of the wave's gonna be. But just like that. The good thing about these challenge videos, these 30 minutes challenge videos, is that, that they get you to paint a little bit freer. There we go. Smush all that in. Get you to paint a little bit freer. A little bit faster, just a nice little test for yourself as well. Right, get rid of that brush. What we're going to do is paint the eye of the wave. Let's grab a, let's grab the filbert brush. Okay, so we say it's going to be there. Okay, so we're going to take some white, grab a bit of this yellow, and just mix that in there. Okay, use the filbert because it's nice and nice and stiff bristles. You know, I'm just going to scrub that in. 
just there. Then we can work around this, you see. That's the eye of the wave. Now, this has been coated in liquid, well, you could use liquid clay. I use linseed oil, right? Uh, and some of the blues that we put up here. Okay, I'm just going to feather that back. Like, that looks watery already, yeah? Right, we could just do a couple of those. Okay, wipe the brush, grab some paint. Okay, now we know where this is going to live. It's going to come across there like that. And then maybe curl up a little bit there. Always good to sketch it out and plan it there like that. Like so. And then we come across all over there like that. That comes down. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to put some little lines there. Come on. Just with the white paint and whatever colours we pick up. There like that. Like so. Now I'm going to make another one of those just to start it off there. It gets tighter to this end and wider at this end. Okay. Just like that. There. How easy is that, eh? Comes across. And then maybe just a couple more. Do three do's and do three d's up here. Maybe a couple up there like that. Just on the horizon line now, it's not going to be defined it's not going to be nice and perfect but it gives us a little something to talk about doesn't it you know okay wipe the brush okay let's grab let's grab a blender okay nice and dry this blender i'm just gonna just tease that eye now i'm going in a circle because that'll look like the wave let's tease that out don't worry about this part down there don't worry about that. We'll come to that eventually. Okay, like that. Knock off the excess on a paper towel. And then I go again. But we don't want to don't want to take dirty colour into that, that eye there. Okay, like that. Maybe grab a bit of white just under there. We'll come back and fathom with that shortly. Okay. Van brush time and some white paint. Let's paint over the top here. Maybe get a bit of that thinner colour. This is just the linseed oil and white mixed there. But we're going to go across and just wherever the splashing of the wave will be. That's where we'll pop it. There, yeah, like that. Okay, and it comes around. Do we put a rock on there or not? I don't know yet. I don't know. See what, see what time we've got left, yeah? Okay, just gently pull that over like that. That's a nice big crashing wave, and of course it goes down there. Let's reaffirm this top edge. Plenty of white paint on the on the brush there, and then we're just gonna take this back. Think flatness. Okay, you've got to think flatness of the sea. There, there. Okay, then we're going to create this trough there like that. Okay, the sea is flat, but it is it is, it is raging and going in a, in a kind of a crazy direction. So it, it's best if you just, you know, take photographs of the sea and see see the sea, how it, how it, it lays, if that makes sense. A bit of a long-winded explanation, yeah. I know. Uh, come down there, I'll add something there. Probably we'll add a, a rock or two. Okay, same on this this one here. Now we're going to take this back. We will have to come back and reaffirm that edge there, but we'll take that back with this fan brush. There, like so. Get some up there and up here. We'll do the same. Very little paint on the brush, very little, but because it's white and it's opaque, it'll stand out so clear on this dark canvas, this dark part. Uh, like so. Just gently go across all that lot. <clears throat> just gently go across. Right, let's grab some white and just dab on. Maybe not that much. 
We've got a nice big splash there. That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Things like that happen, don't they? Yeah. Things like that happen. A couple of splashes on that one. Out there, like that. Don't overwork it. Don't overwork it. Okay, now this top one. Just tap on some splashes. Just white paint. The blues that we put down on the canvas, they are our good friend. And I'm just gonna shape the wave now. Shape the wave. I don't know what time we're on. Ten minutes, I think. That's alright. See if we can get it done in twenty, yeah? That would be awesome. Just shake the wave, very little paint. Come down there, like that. You know what, we should put a big rock on there, I think. I think we should do. Right, let's work on that rock. So get another fan brush. So this is only a tiny diddy little fan brush. Let's get some brown paint. Okay, and then it's just shape as rock in there like that. Maybe it comes up there. Something for this to splash against. Okay, maybe a bit of black thrown in that. Van Dyke brown and black. And just fill all this lot in. Fill it in. Like that. Down into the water. There, like so. A couple of big old stones. Right, let's grab another fan brush. Several brushes are needed. <laughs> Definitely. Right, we need some foam. Oh, I've no red. Okay. <laughs> I've got time to put some red out. Silly me. Right, that's not red. It's crimson, but it'll do. It'll do for what we need. Sometimes, sometimes these things happen. <laughs> right, isn't that much of a rush to paint? Right, blues and crimsons, okay. Blues and crimsons, and maybe a touch of this white. Okay, nice, nice purpley color. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on some shadows just there. Shadowy colors. All the way around, just smush these in. Don't allow the brush to slide, just just smush them in like this. Like that there. Maybe it comes up there as well. It's grabbed a little bit of that stony colour, that's alright. That's okay. Right the way around like that. There. Okay. Where's this fan brush with the whites on? Oh, don't know. So we'll get another one. Does that does help if you have plenty of fan brushes? Okay, go into this thinner white. Okay, let's put some highlights on this. So start above the shadow and just push up from the side. Push up from the side. There, like that. Oh, wow, that's a smashing wave. Crashing, crashing, crashing. You got part of the wave that you don't like as well. We could just Cover it with splashes. And it comes up. Forgive the arm. Flip the, flip the fan brush around. Like that. Like that. Okay, now this comes down there. Like so. Shake the wave, shake the wave, shake the wave. All the way down, 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 there. Mm, 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 mm. Right, let's take, let's take, where's the dark colour gone? Where's the brush with the dark colour gone down? It's hiding. Okay, so we've got some, I'm going to mix some yellow and brown. A bit more yellow, a bit more yellow. You could go, you could have yellow ochre, but as you see, I've gone a bit silly with the, the paints. I've not put many out. Okay, yellow and brown. Plenty of paint on the brush. Use it like a knife, or you could use a knife. Okay, and then we're just gonna 
dabble on there like that. Just allow the paint to break, just you would do with a knife. Just there like that. Now where I live, at the coast, not that I live on the coast, but <laughs> near the coast, where I live, we have wooden groins in the water, and they're quite fun to paint as well. Stop the, stop the shoreline from being washed away. So they have a bit more paint along there like that. Nice little rocky things. Don't worry too much about down here because we need to neaten that off with some water lines. Just like so. <laughs> Gotta make those sound effects, man. Gotta make those sound effects. Like that. Right, wipe the excess off. Grab a bit of white. A bit of white, peel it off just a touch and then here and there and there and here we can just put some zingers and some highlights on some zingers you know the old seagull have landed up here and done his business as well so if you know what i mean <laughs> nice little sound effect okay i'm gonna get shot sit down you've gone too crazy this time okay there we go there we go we go into some dark colour here and there. Don't want to mess about too much. Maybe a bit of crimson, maybe some seaweeds and all sorts. Hey, we're not we're not messing about today. We're not messing about today. Right. This has got white paint on, so I'm just gonna go straight underneath this and pull straight down, cut off where the water is, grab some of that rock colour, gently go across. Yeah. Like that, palette knife, whatever white paint we've got on, on here. Okay, start with the heel and just scrape in, just scrape it in, nice and flat. Little water line, little water line, just there, and then bend the knife up, bend the knife. Like this. Create lots of different ones. Really push on, get firm. Can't get this wrong. The water is all churning. There, and then a couple more there. There. Like that. Up here on the horizon line, we're just going to put a couple of dots. Just out there like that. Couple of smaller lines, just mix them in like so. A couple more. Remember, follow the wave around. Follow the wave around. Just a bit more something. A bit more something on there. Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. That's nice. Different colours. I like that. I like that a lot. Don't get symmetrical though, don't get symmetrical. Break it all up. Running out of white paint. Scrub that in. There we go. And I think, I think we're about finished. Wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you do this one, please tag me in a picture. On, uh, on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done the show so already. <laughs> I can't even speak now. Check out Paul's channel as well. Uh, if you want me to do a challenge, maybe you want me to do something, I don't know, uh, one colour again, or maybe even blindfold painting, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.